Hi, I'm Yvonne Brooks from McNally Jackson Books. Have you ever looked up at the sky on a cloudy day and you could swear that you saw shapes in the clouds? Like maybe you saw a rabbit with a fluffy cloud tail, or maybe you saw a ship floating across the sky. Well, today we're going to make drawings that kind of use that same impulse to imagine things from abstract shapes. These are called loopy drawings. Some people call them scribble drawings. Uh, what we do is we'll take, um, I'm going to use something a little darker so that you can see better in the video. You take your, your pencil or your pen and you start just making loopy lines. Like keep your arm really loose and just kind of go for it here. Just make something kind of loopy. And there you go. So now we have our loopy drawing here. And I'm going to take a look at it and you can look at it with me and see what you think you see. Um, this looks um, a little bit like um, a skinny banana. Maybe this is like the tail of a fish. Oh, maybe this is like a basketball with the lines of the basketball there. Um, this is another kind of fish-like shape. Uh, sometimes, oh look at this, it's almost like the beak of a bird. This could be like the beak and this might be the wing flying out there. Uh, one of the ones I made um, sort of looked like a hedrosaur and I emphasized these lines that were around here and then added the eye and then started coloring different little areas. You can kind of see the different abstract areas they're colored in. Um, another one was like, um, like an elephant, like the um, David McKee elephant or uh, the Elmer or like the Eric Carl elephant and you can make the little areas there and sort of put it on a different color to give it a little three-dimensionality. So you can cut them out. Uh, one of the ones that I cut out was this bird. It was kind of like a, a scary bird jet when I saw the some of the lines and I cut that out and then drew some feathers and everything and decided to hang it up and you can put it on a doorknob or a window do whatever you like with that. The other thing you can do with your loopy drawings is you can make a an abstract work of art You're taking your drawing and coloring all these different beautiful areas like a wonderful mosaic and then you can display it or you can do the, use the mosaic and make it as a background, something and make it as a card or make it that kind of, use the design in that way, but keep it as a work of art as um, in itself on the lines that you've made. And the third thing that you can do is you can take this, now I did this one on cardstock so it'd be a little thicker, but we're going to make a puzzle out of this. Uh, and we have the blank side, you see how I used a green pen on this side, I'm going to use the purple pen on the other side, make another loopy drawing, and loop it around here, there, there we go, whoa, okay, so now I have drawings on both sides, and I'm going to take my scissors and cut this into like hmm, maybe four or five pieces, there we go. And the reason I drew on both sides is so then you can have two puzzles out of it. There we go. There's a piece there. There's another piece here. You can draw these pieces before you cut them if you like, or you can just do them freeform. And you can, if you want to make um, more pieces, make it a little more challenging for your parents, you can do that. If you want to make fewer pieces, maybe for a younger sibling, you can do that too. Let's see, we put this back together here. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. And yes, this matches here. And this matches there. Look at that. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so there we've got our puzzle all together. And then you can mix it up and go crazy and turn it over. And you've got another puzzle. Whoa, now I'm starting from scratch. This might be a little harder. Okay, here's an edge piece. Um, oh, good, okay, these two go together. 
There we go. I think they do. Let's see. Yes. See those lines there? How they connect? That's what's kind of interesting by using these abstract designs. Um, hmm. Let me think about this. Is this up here? What do we think? No, it is not. Okay. What about over here? Are you guys seeing this? Are you going to help me? Let me see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Those can connect there. You can see the lines all connecting. And so now we've got two pieces left. We should be able to, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go there and just have a little edge there, but it's interesting because it doesn't look like it's an edge piece. It's at an angle. And there we go. So now we put that puzzle together. All right. Well, have fun with your loopy drawings and see what you can come up with. Thanks for listening.